Hey everybody, it's your old pal Robert from thrillride.com. How you doing? So I'm on another hike this morning, uh, this time in Malibu Creek State Park, and here to check out uh, a very iconic film location. Um, this is land that used to be owned by 20th Century Fox, and they shot a lot of different stuff out here, but uh, from the early 70s until the early 80s, one of the most famous things that was shot here was the MASH television series. Just uh, one of my all-time favorite uh, broadcast shows. And I do believe the finale, uh, Goodbye, Farewell and Amen, was watched by more than 100 million uh, viewers, which has got to be more than half of the adult population of America at the time. So <laughs> uh, it's been a very popular hiking site. And there was some damage, I think, in one of the uh, wildfires, I believe the Wolsey Fire again in 2018 that did so much damage to Paramount Ranch. But there's been a concerted effort to uh, restore some of the elements that were lost and clear brush away from things that had gotten overgrown. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to check it out. So let's go take a look. the trailhead 2.3 miles to the mesh site site yeah just coming out of that little dip over the riverbed at the start of the trail and my goodness <laughs> look at these mountains wow So as I understand it, there are several ways, or at least more than one way, to get to the MASH site. And I think I'm taking what's considered kind of the easiest way in, which is this high road trail. Well, there you go again, lots of other trails up here. So much to explore. Yeah, it is, it is crazy beautiful out here today. Oh, man. That's neat. Somebody's put a makeshift bird feeder up there. Very nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a particularly shady little stretch of trail underneath these beautiful trees. Little quartet of bike riders heading up into the hills over there. Yeah, so I do believe this is the creek from which the park takes its name. Yeah, it's it's uh it's pretty magically lovely. Oh look at this. Just up here on a <clears throat> curve of the trail overlooking the area we were just in. Pretty amazing. Yeah, so far pretty easy hike. A little mile grade here and there, but nothing too bad. Yeah, it's starting to get a little steeper. A little bit more of a challenge, but it's good. Getting that aerobic exercise in. Well, this looks like a quick side trip I'm gonna have to take. Oh man, boy, as amazing as I thought the trails behind Paramount Ranch were, this is a whole other level. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
<laughs> Fantastic. They very kindly manicured some staircases here for us. To come down to the, I guess the viewing area for this dam. Insert obligatory nicest trail by a dam site joke here. And there it is. The dam. Oh yeah, you get right down to the water's edge. Oh, there's some intrepid hikers over there who somehow made it across. I guess you can walk? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, God, that's beautiful, though. Huh. Well, this is the... Or it says this is the road to the MASH site. About 0.6 miles away, but I don't think it's... Is it across here? Looks like it dead ends. A bunch of uh, marshy reeds. No, wait, in the creek itself. Okay. Well, I guess I'm still on the right road, but... <laughs> yeah, well, since I'm here, let's take a quick look. Yeah. Very pretty. All right, so somebody who uh, knows the canyons well says if I follow this little trail here, there is a fallen log up that crosses over the creek, so we'll not have to do any uh, wet walking. <laughs> Let's see if I can find this thing. All right, sure enough. This looks like a makeshift footbridge. However, that is gonna be a tricky walk. Dang. <laughs> All right, we're putting the camera down for this. <laughs> Ooh, but look at the, uh, those kind of willow thistles blowing in the wind. That's beautiful. All right, see you on the other side. Oh, well, very luckily, somebody put down a wood plank right close to that log and made it across. And yeah, looks like I'm back on the trail. All right. And dry still. <laughs> Many anxious fantasies of one wrong step and... A very soggy day, henceforth. <laughs> yeah, so the path gets pretty narrow here. This is not the uh, truck road that it would have used to bring in water and filming equipment, etc. So a little more scenic, nice. Definitely passing a, a lot of other hikers out here, which is great. Everybody being very respectful, wearing their masks, social distancing, but a testament to how popular this site still is. Decades after MASH started or stopped airing, it uh, remains very, very popular worldwide, as it should. Yeah, this has uh, already become one of my favorite trails ever. We haven't even gotten to the, the showstopper. Although one uh, hiker I passed pretty recently said we're really close, so getting there. Well, there's a lovely sight. One of the ambulance vehicles. The 4077 unit. Now, of course, this is not original. Uh, there may have been an actual filming uh, vehicle here at some point, but that was either lost to the elements or destroyed in the fire. However, this uh, restoration is uh, brand spanking new. Look at that. November 1920. I'm sorry. November 2020. So, yeah. Can you even go up inside? Oh, check this out. <laughs> That's great. Oh, wow. You can sign here and uh, they're asking if anybody is a veteran from uh, 
from the wars or are you and your ancestors from Korea? Very cool. Well, there you go. If you ever wanted to know what the view was like from behind the wheel of a mass shooter ambulance, you can have that moment. Very nice. <laughs> I remember from my years as a packaging art director, we did a lot of medical products and I learned that that symbol is called a caduceus or caduceus, something like that. Anyway, that's a caduceus. Yeah, here you go. Oh, this is really exciting. And we have arrived. All right, well, it's great that they put these very informative signs out here to tell you where you're standing and what took place here. So the ridge line with the distinctive triangle peak in the upper right corner is in front of you. The photo is of a rehearsal for a scene for the episode Cementing Relationships, season nine. Very cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can hear kids in the background having a very good time. So it also says here, the exterior set was much smaller than it looked on TV, and the reality may mar the fond memories of MASH fans. The set would look cramped and inaccurate. For example, the hospital building in the left side photo here, with the operating room, pre-op, and post-op wards, along with offices for Blake and Potter, and Radar and Klinger, was actually only 14 feet wide on the side facing you, but it looked much larger on the show. Now this uh, iconic sign from the show, I believe is not original. This was, uh, this is a restoration, <laughs> but I love the fact that it includes both Burbank, my former uh, homestead and Coney Island, which uh, if we were standing in Korea right now, Coney would be 7,033 miles away. <laughs> Tokyo is pretty close by, only 259 miles, nice. And I guess Boston, you're just gonna have to guess. Okay, we fight into all the bad guys. Now let's get out of here. Okay, you guys drive. I'll get the bad guys. Okay. Now I'm guessing that this was an actual vehicle. That was a part of the original set out here and they left to just decay in the wild. Super cool. All right, so here's another helpful sign that pinpoints the location we're standing and offers some more historical information. So it says that four years after MASH began filming here, the sale and transfer of the 2000 acre 20th Century Fox Ranch was completed and it was reborn as Malibu Creek State Park. With the show being filmed in a public park, fans were allowed to continue to watch as long as they stayed out of the way of cameras and crew. Sweet, very neat. Yeah, that's what it looked like back in the day. <laughs> and good old Father Mulcahy having a little fun between takes. Nice. I love this old Jeep, man. <laughs> and here too, not sure if this was an original prop or functioning vehicle but it sure looks like it might have been. Yeah, that's cool. And I don't know if you saw it on that sign back there, but it also said that the season or yeah, series finale of MASH was indeed the highest rated television program until 2011 when the uh, Super Bowl garnered a higher audience. But again, I believe that MASH remains the only scripted series to achieve that level of uh, viewership. And this was well before streaming and all that other good stuff. Like you had to watch it when it aired or you missed it. <laughs> so I'm not sure what the pedigree of this kind of little picnic area is. I'm pretty sure this is strictly uh, created after the fact for hikers to come and enjoy. But I do love the camo netting they put up there. That's a nice bit of theming.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, so some more good details here. So the show aired from 1972 to 1983. And this is where the uh, all the exteriors were shot over the show's 11-year lifespan. While scenes from episodes in all 11 seasons were filmed here, the Fox Ranch slash State Park, some were more screen time in earlier seasons. So how can you tell if it's a scene shot here when you're standing on stage 9 at 20th Century Fox? Well, if it's an exterior scene, not in the tents, look for actors squinting and for shadows on their faces from the bright sun. If they're not squinting, they are on the soundstage. And look in the background behind the tents and you'll see a not very good painted diorama of mountains to make it look like they're outside. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Suicide is painless. Love that song and melody. Now, one website that I visited while doing a little research on this location stated that they also filmed some of Robert Altman's feature, MASH, here as well. But I, I'm not so sure that's accurate. But I'll tell you, that movie also holds a dear place in my heart because it was the first R-rated movie I ever saw. And I was eight years old at the time. But uh, that's a lasting impression. And of course, the TV series, just a magnificent accomplishment on its own. But if you haven't seen Robert Altman's 1970 feature, I would also recommend seeking that out. It is a pitch black comedy, but uh, just fantastic. Donald Sutherland, Elliot Gould, Sally Kellerman, and a, just an incredible cast. Again, very dark. <laughs> <laughs> but but a, uh, a masterpiece. So sure enough, I just checked the map, and this pretty much is the extent of the site. But though I couldn't find any kind of signage stating that it was indeed there, that rise up there was where the helicopter landed. The, uh, the medevac, is that a Huey, I think? I don't know. I'm no expert on aircraft. But yeah, that's where the uh, helicopter would land and take off from. And yeah, this is it. And this is the helipad. Oh man. <laughs> Every time I get another look at those mountains, just tickles me to no end. So majestic. I'm not sure I see a clear way to hike out to it and they do want us to stick to the trails but way back there in the center in the distance looks to be an old water tank and I would presume that was the tank that was used to support the uh, cast and crew out here. Yeah here's a section of pipe on the ground and that sure looks like it's running straight back to where that tank is standing. So yeah, maybe that was the conduit that uh, brought it on down to the set. Yeah, just standing by the creek down here, listening to that bubbling water. And though I never saw it, I think it was on the 30th anniversary of the final show and the cast got together. And Alan Alda did say that because it was so remote, and uh, the conditions were, were kind of rough. That it helped the cast to get into the spirit of being far from home and working under some less than ideal conditions. <laughs> so added to the verisimilitude of the show. But man, I wouldn't mind coming to work here every day. 
Not bad at all. So uh, just sitting there thinking happy mash thoughts. <laughs> I remembered that the series had two spin-offs. The first one took place while the original series was still airing, Trapper John MD. I think that ran for a few seasons. Uh, it was a bit of a hit, did not watch that one. But then after MASH, the original series went off the air, there was an attempt to continue the story with a series called After MASH, which did not last very long. <laughs> kind of a source of humor. But it just occurred to me that that's a play on words after math? After MASH? Like, I didn't, I didn't realize that until just this moment. So whether that was intentional or not, like... Whatever. <laughs> anyway, if anyone knows if that was specifically why the show was named, uh, leave a comment down below. <laughs> All right, I think that brings this one to a close. So thanks for coming along. And if you are a fan of uh, television history and beautiful hiking, this is without a doubt a must do trail. Really spectacular. So, uh, yeah. We'll catch you in the next one.